very unsatisfying for a while. Um, you know, I, I just uh, I'm proud of the group. They, they, we didn't play well in the first half. We didn't give the requisite fight, spirit, energy. Um, we had some good looks, but didn't make them, which can sometimes cover up your sins. I thought the second half, though, you know, you could just see them take the challenge. And, you know, we needed, we needed, uh, we needed all of it. Obviously, at the end of the game, we kind of got separation, but it's such a fine margin sometimes when you have to dig out of a hole that things can go either way. They could have made the run at the wrong time, and we couldn't have got back. So fortunate, but we gave the effort in the second half it takes, and uh, we played a much better game. I don't know if I have a moment. You know, there was plenty of um, performances, though, and we asked the guys at halftime to give to the team, whatever it took. You know, we we got stagnant in the first half. We were physical. I don't think we contested actions the way we needed to. Um, no matter what your role, no matter what was needed, we asked everyone to give to the team and put the team first. And uh, I thought you could see that on display. You know, everyone was fighting. There was more energy. There was, we were contesting parts of the floor better, contesting actions, contesting shots, um, and held, held them to 31 points in the second half, which is, uh, you know, um, obviously an outstanding effort. I think the big lineup struggled. Uh, frankly and so just going small allowed us to score the ball um, and we were surviving more than surviving defensively so you just kind of go with it I think we you know Nick got in, in foul trouble and we decided to put Bruce in and go small and um, play with a little more pace a little more freedom a little more space on the floor and see if we could survive defensively Yeah, I think it's in there. You know, it's in there. It, what I would say, though, is that show the resilience to overcome fatigue, uh, missed shots to play a better first half. You know, that's resilience, too. So, yes, when we dug ourselves a hole, we found the resilience to come back and win the game. But, you know, there's also a, an element of resilience to find a way to play at a higher level in the first half. So that's what I want to push our group towards is to... You know, not take possessions for granted just because we're an hour and 15 minutes from the end of the game. They all matter. And so I'm really proud of them for finding it tonight and that competitive spirit in the second half. Uh, challenged them uh, a couple of times, and, uh, you know, they responded. You've seen Patty go on these kind of roller coaster shooting stretches where he'll go cold for a number of games, and then he'll have one hot game that sparks a series of hot games. Do you think this can be that night for him? Sparks a series of hot shooting games. Yeah, I'm not, not going to pull out the crystal ball, but it's just great to see the ball go in the basket for him. He's where he works so hard. He does so much for the group all season long. You know, you hate to see him suffer like he has recently. So for him to to make shots and to to be a you know a, a guy that came with with whatever he brought tonight, both ends of the floor um, was was important. And to see him kind of make the the shot that kind of sealed the game was. You know, it felt good because he deserves it. You know, he works really hard, and he's been uh, a soldier for this team. Why do you think the effort has been so consistent over the last week or so? I think fatigue. Faced a lot of adversity. Guys have, have uh, faced so many different scenarios this year. Um, you know, we're, we're, we've faced so many things this year that I think emotionally and physically have, have worn the team out. Um, and then now we need our best effort. And I think sometimes that, that is a, a difficult kind of mix of, of emotions and physical and, and mental exhaustion that we have to weather here for, for a little bit. But, uh, you know, nights like tonight can help us kind of freshen up and feel that belief again.